four new slaves for the market. What? what? Darn my socks, what's in the box? It's Fandom Marson's second attempt at getting a King Mickey Power Disc. With substitutes of gameplay provided by AF Guides, Nominee's artwork, and some images I found on the internet. It might not be the best substitution, but I don't really have the best equipment, so I'll make do with it you got, alright? It's Juice and Jam time. With Tom Morrow 2.0. Any questions? Wow, that was fast. Welcome back to the Disney Infinity Gameplay Diaries. Mr. Deep Dish still doesn't have a game encoder. No, he does not, but that won't stop him from telling you all about his escapades, like this one right here. As you can plainly see, Mr. Deep Dish has stuffed as much of his Disney Infinity 3.0 haul into as few boxes as possible. Why, you may ask? Usually a Trans Am. No, it's because our little Pop-Tarts moving away from this particular neighborhood. See, something bad recently happened to snap the family of six and two. Now, I know what you all are thinking, and yes, we are now able to confirm it. Yes, moving buddies have been selected. Sheriff Woody and Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey have both organized which characters go in which box, not including the emotions AC has acquired, exempting fear for obvious reasons. They have currently assigned Ahsoka Tano to Loki's box, Sabine Wren to Minnie's box, Sam Flynn and Korra to their respective boxes, Mickey Mouse in Yoda's box, Bamulan and Obi-Wan Kenobi in Sabine's box, and in Sadness's box, we have... Yeah, tell me if that would make a good Charles C. Bernardo cartoon. Who has to go to the bathroom? Oh, I did, I did. And that's just the 3.0 figure haul, all of which are subject to rearrange as the month goes on, unlike the other boxes I've stuffed with prior figures such as Jack Skellington and Jack Sparrow in the Fa Mulan suite, Obi-Wan Kenobi suite being occupied by Gamora and the Lone Ranger, Olaf's suite going to the natural fit of Elsa and Anna from Frozen, yep. the Big Cheese loaning out his suite to Donald Duck of all people. Don't worry, Tinkerbell's there too. Also, the funniest thing happened when I was packing Syndrome and Merida into Disgust's box. Merida was looking away while the self-proclaimed superhero stood front and center. Huh, a Scottish princess and a maniacal genius. Aw oh, man, gingers really go great together, do they? But the most heartwarming thing to me is Buzz and Jesse staying in Woody's box. Aw. The sheriff cares so much about their love that he sacrificed his escape from an economy flight. And as you've seen from every airport ever, one does not simply endure an economy flight. The playsets and toy box expansion discs are a lot sweeter than last time, especially with the looming lies against the Empire over the horizon. And pizza plants. I am not making this smeg up, there are pizza plants in Disney Infinity. You have no more power over us, Domino's Pizza. We can avoid the Noid all by ourselves! Yeah, there's this farming mechanic in Disney Infinity. It's really useful. I'm currently striving to harvest every unique plant this game has to offer. Like the Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts, only I know that I can achieve it. It is that addicting. Hopefully this new goal will be more than enough to keep me busy until the move alongside the special Toy Box Tales long box I have planned containing all the prior Disney Infinity Toy Box Tales by Quinjitsu. I intend on continuing this series. I already have a couple of boxes set up in 2.0. With the very first 3.0 entry in the series being an entry to the Toy Box Character Contest, it stars Anakin Skywalker on a quest in Tatooine to learn more about his father. You know, like, what episode 2 should have been about. 
I'll be borrowing some plot elements from Kingdom Hearts, as well as adding new plot elements. Elements that I hope Nomura can take back to Kingdom Hearts 3 with him. And that's pretty much it. But there's one thing that's been bothering me, and I think I know why. This is a Star Wars game, and it doesn't even have a prequelized version of the one Star Wars character we can't live without. That's right, there's no B. Arthur! The Empire has closed us down! Now, I know this sort of thing happens all the time. I, I'm sure it's just temporary, but... Fellas, the party is over! 